It's pretty clear at this point that Season 3 and the Ryusui special are gonna have some filler. Not the bad kind of filler that gets YouTubers to make special how to watch videos. I mean good filler like Kohaku handing out the world's best hugs, or Tsukasa getting an extended backstory. But you might be wondering how I know there's gonna be filler. Well, first of all, I'm a person speaking on the internet, so obviously I know everything. But besides that, we have the Ryusui special teaser info that was released back in March. Now, before I start talking about it, I should point out that I will be talking about this information in context. So, there will be minor spoilers for those of you who are anime only. Moving on, the actual teaser didn't really give us anything new besides some pictures of Ryusui. But four of these pictures actually tell us a lot about what we can expect in the special. Well, actually, more like three, because one of them is just a picture of Ryusui's pretty face. First, we have a picture of the character setting the frame for their sailboat, which is nearly identical to this panel from chapter 84. Naturally, that means we can expect the special to adapt that chapter. In other words, despite what some of us were hoping, the Ryusui special will not be entirely anime original. Now, the second picture we see is of Ryusui and Senku up in the sky, which is identical to this panel in chapter 89. So, seeing as how the special will cover these two chapters, we can pretty much say, with certainty, that the Ryusui special will be an hour long. Adapting chapters 84 through 89, that means the Ryusui special will cover six chapters. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of an anime with a pacing of six chapters per episode. So, the only logical conclusion is that the special will be an hour long. That way, it would be more like three chapters per 30 minutes. Which is a bit on the faster side, but still relatively normal. But fear not, because despite that pacing, we can still expect some filler. If you look at the third picture, you can see Senku and Gen addressing the Kingdom of Science. This particular frame doesn't appear anywhere in the span of chapters 84 through 89, meaning that it's most likely a filler moment. Now, like I said, three chapters per episode is still a bit on the faster side. So while we have proof that the special will contain some filler, it's unclear exactly how much there'll be. So, just to recap, it's pretty clear that the Ryusui special will be an hour-long episode that will adapt chapters 84 through 89, and will contain some filler moments. Now, before I discuss what this means for Season 3, I want to just give a quick shout-out to the comment of the week from my collab with Iron Nancy. If you'd like me to share your comment in the next video, then make sure to share your thoughts on Season 3 down below. But back to what I was saying, the fact that the special will cover 84 through 89 pretty much confirms two things. First, that Season 3 will cover the remainder of Age of Exploration and then the entirety of Treasure Island. Second, like the Ryusui special, Season 3 will follow in the tradition of Seasons 1 and 2 and include filler. Starting with Chapter 90 after the Ryusui special, Age of Exploration ends in Chapter 100. Going by the pacing of two chapters per episode, Season 3 would be five episodes if it only covered the remainder of Age of Exploration. If you recall, Season 2 was 11 episodes. Five episodes isn't short, it's just pointless. So by that logic, we can say that Season 3 will also adapt all of Treasure Island. In fact, if we assume Season 3 ends right with the end of Part 3 of the manga, that would cover 49 chapters, giving us the typical Dr. Stone pacing of two chapters per episode if it were to consist of 24 episodes. So unlike Season 2, it's pretty obvious that Season 3 will contain two full cores. The first will cover Age of Exploration and the beginning of Treasure Island, and the second core will cover the big battle. Now, like I said, it seems like Season 3 will follow the typical Dr. Stone pacing of about two chapters per episode. So, like previous seasons, we can safely assume that Season 3 will also contain filler. Now, with Season 3 and the special containing filler, that just leaves one question. What exactly will the filler be? Well, even though it's still pretty early, we actually have a pretty good idea of what most of this filler will look like. Actually, before we look at what we can expect, Let's start with what we definitely won't be seeing. If my word means anything to you, then please trust me when I say that neither Season 3 or the Rusui special will contradict the canon story. Ever since the end of the manga, I have occasionally seen talk of the anime steering away from the source material. Naturally, that always leaves the potential for contradictory filler moments in new episodes of the anime. Now, as far as I can tell, that doesn't seem very likely for either Season 3 or the special. The special is just setting up Ryusui, so I can't imagine how it would tie into the end of the story. 
As far as Season 3, I could maybe see how some filler could be used during Treasure Island to foreshadow the ending, but I just can't see anything that would contradict the manga. In all honesty, the jury's still out on this one, and we can't really know until the anime comes out. But if you ask me, I'm fairly confident TMS will stay true to the source material. But with that out of the way, now we can discuss what will be in the anime. To start, let's look at the idea I had in one of my previous videos on Season 3. In that video, I said that there would be a recap episode like in Season 2 where we get an anime original invention. At the time, I thought the characters might invent something while Senku was making his address about traveling the world. But that was before the Ryusui special teaser. Seeing as how we know that Season 3 will start with Chapter 90, there's really only one way this could work. Chapter 90 starts out with the characters eating together. Personally, I think it'd be kind of awkward if they just started Season 3 right where the manga picks up without any kind of transition between the new season and the special. Since this is a low-key casual scene, it's the perfect opportunity for the writers to put in a filler scene. That way, they don't have to mess with the writing once the story gains its momentum. As far as exactly what they'll put, my only guess is that it'll be some kind of invention related to exploration. The space ramen was something they actually ended up using in later episodes, so I tend to think a new invention would be similar. Now, the next bit of filler I think we'll get is an extended backstory for Ryusui. It's a fairly obvious guess considering he's getting his own special, so it's really more of a question of how much we'll get to see. Well, first of all, I can almost guarantee that we'll get an expansion of his backstory from Chapter 98. They expanded on the backstories of Yo, Ukiyo, and Tsukasa in Season 2, so it only makes sense that they'll do the same for one of the fandom's favorite characters. In addition, I also think we'll be getting an extension of Rusui's backstory in the Rusui special. A while back, it was officially announced that there will be a special chapter of Dr. Stone to accompany the Rusui special. Because it's specifically being released alongside the anime episode, I suspect that the chapter will contain additional Rusui backstory that will be adapted one way or another in the special. We already have Rusui's backstory in chapter 98, so to put that in the special would just be repetitive. Personally, what I think is going to happen is they're going to cover some kind of story that focuses on how Rusui became such a good navigator. Something that highlights his skills in navigation. Because the special will end with Rusui, Chrome, and Senku on the hot air balloon. So a backstory that highlights his navigation skills would be the perfect way to set this up and tie into the rest of the episode. But moving on to the next idea, I also think there will be an extended backstory for Treasure Island's main villain, Ibarra. In a previous video, I explained that part of the reason Ibarra isn't as great as Dr. Stone's other villains is because we never got a backstory that fleshed out his motivations. Naturally, adding a backstory for the character would be the perfect way to fix this problem in Season 3. In all honesty, I don't think it would be very long, probably just a brief moment of Ibarra's past. But just one brief moment like that has the potential to make Ibarra an even better villain. Now, the last idea I have for Season 3 is filler related to the reboot. In case you weren't already aware, and I have to say that because some of you really aren't aware, there is a non-canon prequel manga titled Dr. Stone Reboot Byakuya. Now, this reboot is tied to events that take place in Treasure Island, and those events actually help to explain how Treasure Island was founded. So, I see one or two things happening. First, we get some kind of filler that shows Byakuya helping to found Treasure Island or something that shows how the generations of villagers evolved after Byakuya. The other thing I see happening is TMS adding some filler to help explain the continuity between the reboot and the main story. Again, don't want to spoil the anime onlys out there, but there was a bit of an issue regarding certain scenes that were in both versions of the story. So the anime will likely address this issue so that fans can finally have some closure. But as far as right now, that's everything I can think of for filler. So, as you can see, there's plenty of reason to be excited for Season 3 and the Ryusui special. It's going to have the same pacing that we've enjoyed before, the anime will finally have a two-core season again, and we're going to have a bunch of filler that will only improve the source material. For all of those reasons, you can expect TMS to do what it's been doing by staying true to the manga, but working to give viewers an even better experience. And that's it for this discussion. If you enjoyed this discussion, then make sure to let me know by liking the video. Also, make sure to comment with your thoughts on Season 3 down below. And if you'd like more Dr. Stone discussions like this one, then make sure to subscribe and follow along with each week's video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.